got a little job to do here which is to make this bolt the correct length it was bought as a foot peg or foot rest fixing bolt for an old BSA motorcycle um, and it's basically 20 millimeters too long so what we are going to do is we're going to take 20 millimeters off of here which is pretty much all of that thread and then re-thread it to take the nut and this thing you know, back in the day it would have been a proper bolt this has been made with a stud and a nut just welded on the end not very straight by the look of it I guess that's the easy way of doing it rather than turning down loads of metal or having a, a forging made that length. I dare say they're not so easy to find these days. It's half inch UNF. Don't know if that's standard for an old BSA, but that's what this is. And because we've got the nut, that's what we're going to do as well. Uh,
Well, we cut that thread at 840 RPM and I think that's quite fast enough, especially for steel and that seems to be quite a tough piece of steel as well. But according to the uh, Aingest manual Thread sprinch up the right hand side there, 20, come across to here, 2000 RPM. Whoa! You'd probably be okay with uh, aluminium, or possibly even free cutting steel, you could probably do that. And they've got samples in the front of this brochure, um, instruction, a little manual. Uh, they're talking about cutting a 3 inch diameter internal thread at 750 RPM. Wow, 6 passes in 45 seconds. That'd be some doing, I think. You'd want it flooded with coolant, I, th I reckon. But yeah, I thought that was, uh, that was not too bad at 840. Let's just have a little look at what 2000 RPM looks like. Um, Yeah, I think uh, 840 was uh, fast enough for that little job. 2000, wow. If you're doing aluminium bits and you had a load to do, got into the swing of it, I guess you'd, that's what you'd do. Um, actually, nowadays it gets done on the CNC. But, uh, yeah. I do like the Aingest. It's uh, a good bit of kit. We might have a little look at this later, see how it works. Maybe in another video, but uh, this job's done. All we've got to do now is get it out of the collet. Just check the length of this. Three hundred with twenty mil thread. I think we've got that. Should be good. He'll be able to get his foot rests on it now, on his bike. Just a closer look at that thread. I think that's quite nice. It's a shame I put a blooming score down it. That was dumb. Dragging the tool back on one time. Still. Um, yeah, not good. But it's not Rex apart. It'll still be usable. But I think that's quite nice. No chatter. There's that score again. No ripping up of the metal. If you can, 
threading at normal cutting speed gives a pretty damn fine result which of course is what CNC's do these days but yeah it used to be possible in, on old school manual lathes as well